Okay, cool. So we're live and we are recording. So last week on the call, we had like a really good call of just kind of giving each other some insight onto like what's working for us and our business. And so thank you guys all for hopping on last week. Um, so this is recording so everybody can listen back to it. Um, but we thought it'd be cool to do like a sneak peek next week on the 28th. And we also thought it would be cool if all of us individually, if you were okay with this, um, we could do a sneak peek on our Instagram stories. Cause that's kind of like the big thing right now is Instagram stories. And you just have so much more exposure, it seems. And I feel like it's less work to get people to watch Instagram stories versus like, Hey, do you want to join a sneak peek? And can I get your Facebook? And like, can I add you? I feel like there's a lot of different steps to running a sneak peek on Facebook together. So if you haven't, have you guys all run like a sneak peek into coaching on your Instagram stories? Jazz has Carrie, Melissa. Okay. So we're pretty, we're all pretty familiar with it all. Um, but we were thinking that we could just share some tips on like what worked for us, maybe what didn't. Um, so I'll start. I don't know if you guys have seen, but in my bio, underneath my bio, I have like my biz. It's like a little short blurb. Um, and I just talk about a few things that I get the most questions and like, um, kind of the most objections on. So it's not just going to the script and talking about what we all talk about in our sneak peek. It's about like, what are people saying no to you because of? So like, for me, what's huge is like not having enough time and they don't do social media and they don't want to be tied to a, to a certain product. So I made sure that my sneak peek was specifically geared towards my niche market and that really helped me. So, you know, we talk about, I'm looking at my phone on my um, stories. We talk about, you know, what we do as a coach. So instead of just talking directly at the camera, what we do as a coach, like get your kids involved, get the people that are in your life involved. I have my dog because like people like to look at dogs. So like make it appealing. Don't just like look into the camera and have a boring background, I guess. Like make it appealing because a lot of people that watch my, um, my biz story, they commented on my dog, like, and they're watching this story, but they like wanted to comment and it was just on my dog. So like I had things in my Instagram stories that like drew people in like my dog and I had like a cute outfit on. So people are like asking me where I get my sweater and like my hair, like weird stuff like that. So I talk a little bit about how simple it is as to what we do as a coach. So we basically reach our health and fitness goals while we help other people. It's like, it's super duper simple. And then I talk a little bit about, I did like a little live onto Beachbody On Demand. So I talk about how we follow the programs and there's a calendar and how we connect with people on social media and we um, share our journeys on social media. And I make that apparent because I need to set the expectation that if you're on social media, if you become a coach, like you have to share your health and fitness journey and you have to connect with new people on social media. So I kind of already tell them out of the gate, like what I expect them to do. Um, and then my second part of that is, you know, common myths and fears. So I went back to all of my notes for when people say no, I ask them why they don't want to coach and they normally get back to me. Um, and most people say they don't have the time. They don't want to be salesy. They don't do social media. Um, they're not their health and fitness goals. You know, what's the compensation like? And those are kind of like the top things that I talk about. And again, I have like my animals in the mix <laughs> and that really helps. Um, so the common myths and fears, I just made sure that I went back to before I started coaching and what my concerns were. And I was completely honest. Like I thought I was a scam. I thought it was like icky to be a salesperson. I thought I didn't do social media because I only had like 50 friends on Instagram. So I make sure that I not just give them the common myths and fears, but I tie it into why I thought the same before I started coaching. Um, and then my next two videos are compensation. I talk a little bit about like what Beachbody has done for me financially. And, um, my next one was how to fit into a busy schedule. Cause that's probably my top, top objection. And I'm actually like packing to go on a trip. So I'm taking them along 
in my day of being super busy and how I fit it in in 45 minutes a day. And then I just talk about what's next. So that's a little bit about my sneak peek. Do you guys have any questions? Who wants to go next? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Been up since like three o'clock, you guys. It's rough. <laughs> that's like airport time. Ooh. I know. I like have insomnia last night for whatever reason. Mm. Anywho. Um, um, I can go next. I, so I've only, um, I only ran a sneak peek on my IG stories one time. And what I love about Kendra is that the reason why she got like four or five new coaches last month is because she's so consistent with doing it. So, um, that's like one of my goals is like to just every single day, kind of like as a vital behavior, like talk in some way or shape or form about coaching. I think what I've been consistent with doing is like every single day seeing like showing how I'm out with Maddie playing and then I'll make a post about like, you know, how I build, you know, part-time business or whatever. So I think people are seeing it, but I think I need to make a better, like, like, freedom, you know, like just things like that to appeal to my niche market. Right. But anyway, from the actual one time that I ran, um, like the full, I did like the full story, like, you know, it was like from start to finish on like kind of my whole story with coaching trips I've taken, you know, how I hit different, like, you know, income wrinkles, that type of stuff, like went from start to finish and like why I started coaching and how I've changed since like before Carrie versus now Carrie. Um, it went really well. So I built everything out on Canva ahead of time, which took me like a good two hours. And then I, you know, put all, put everything in Dropbox, downloaded it all on my phone because I cannot use the Canva app, you guys. So anyway, I did this, um, IG stories and it went really well. Um, the one thing that I would say absolutely you have to do when you're running an IG sneak peek is put a poll at the end, like definitely put a poll, make your options, you know, like yes, or kind of interested, you know, like, so that way you can kind of get a feel for like people who are really excited about the opportunity or people who are like, mm, I don't know, you know? So, um, anyway, the problem with mine was not the fact that I did the sneak peek. I got a lot of interest. I got probably like 15 people. The problem was that then I created a webinar like, and it was like 30 minutes and I sent it to these people. And literally like just yesterday, I finally got like one of them who was super interested. was like, I finally sat down to watch the webinar. It was like three weeks later. So one thing that I know the call was not recorded last Friday, but one thing that Kendra talked about and she posted it in the group in our team page is to send an email with a little blurb about coaching and then also like all the common questions. And that you guys, just in the last couple of days, I've been using that and that's been working well, really well. So my point is you guys, I think for me, I want to be more consistent, not with just a sneak peek. I think it's super important, like at least once a month to do a sneak peek. So I'm going to do one, um, you know, just like we all are, but in the next week, but I think it's also important to do like the little daily jabs on your IG stories every day and then have a way to get these people information. And I think for me, that email is like super quick. And I think about how would I, how would I want to learn about coaching, right? Like I never, like with Melanie, I never got on one of her webinars. Like honestly, for the first year I was even coaching, I never even got on a team call. Like I'm just typically not a person who would go and sit. I'm not a YouTube watcher. Like that's just not me. So I read her blog. Like that was what I did because that was the type of information that I found. It was visual for me. So I think you got to think about your market and like how, do, how would they want to learn about coaching? And for me, I think that email is probably such a better route than doing a webinar. So that's kind of my like thought process around sneak peeks. I think it's important to do them and I definitely am going to do one in the next week again and be more consistent about doing one at least once a month. But I also think it's important to do like the little daily jabs more consistently throughout the week too. So I love it. Yeah. Anyone else? 
Do you guys still use like the same Canva like option when you're going to do like the sneak peek? Like Carrie, I saw yours. Or are you going to like make a new, new one every time? Yeah. You know what I was thinking is because my story like doesn't really change. Right. Like, I mean, my story is my story. And I think yeah. if you look at like, like I don't follow a lot of coaches anymore because it just, it's too distracting for me. But like my first couple of years I followed Bonnie angle. I don't follow her now, but you guys in the beginning, I'm not kidding. Like she told the same exact story over and over and over and over and over again. And for whatever reason, like I didn't get bored. I was always just like, Oh my God, that's so cool. And it kept like getting me excited about my own business, you know? Mm. So, um, I, because of how long it took, I don't think I'm going to change it. What I think I will do is maybe like change out pictures sometimes, change like the color of the backgrounds, like maybe change a little bit of the wording, like, but I'm going to kind of keep it pretty like consistent, if that makes sense. And maybe if I think of something else, like, you know, each month or every two weeks or whatever I do, when I actually do the actual sneak peek, if I think of something unique or different, or maybe have an update about like, you know, the retreat that we went to or these things like that, I'll probably add to it. Okay. But I think in general, I'm just going to kind of keep it the same. Cause I think it is important to kind of keep your story pretty consistent, but I think visually like that's the thing with Bonnie, right? Like it's not like she used the exact same picture over again. Like it's just the story. So like you can kind of switch out the pictures, the colors, that type of stuff. You know? Okay. Yeah. What about you, Kendra? Um, I was actually thinking about this yesterday. So I did like one sneak peek like two months ago and it, I think it went really well. So first like review, like, did you get some interest from the sneak peek that you did? And if you did, and if it's kind of speaks to you and your market and you're kind of, you know, just being yourself and it feels super, super natural, just use it. So I'm going to keep mine in my bio. Um, but every single, like every other day I go through my biz and I watch it again and I pick out different things from that sneak peek that I'm going to touch on. So I'm talking about the same story, but it, it's the same content, but throughout the month I'm taking like bits and pieces, like an objection or how I fit it into my schedule or what's next. And I talk about that in a different way on IG stories. That kind of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, so like, for example, yesterday I talked about like fancy coffee Thursday and like how I didn't work very much last, last week on my business, but like I still made money. Like that talks about compensation. Um, and then, you know, social media, like I'll talk about that, like in the next few days. So, and then I will make sure to like go back and say, Hey, check out the highlights, my biz under my bio for kind of like a full overview. I don't know if I'll do another like full on sneak peek into coaching. Cause I already have it in my bio. It's like, why repeat the same information? Um, but I am going to take bits and pieces of that. Um, highlight under my bio. I'm going to talk about that in more in depth. I don't know yet. Do you refer it? Cause I mean, I feel like I looked back at my highlights mm -hmm. yesterday cause I was playing around with like new highlight covers and stuff. And like, and I know for me, like I don't really typically go to people's profiles and like look at their highlights that often. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so, I don't either. Um, so I tell people, yeah. Oh, so we're talking about coaching. I'm like, check out the highlight under my bio. But what about all your new followers that you're not necessarily talking to yet? You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know yet. I think that's where I think at least once a month, like for me anyway, to try to like repeat it, but like maybe change yeah. the colors or pictures or something that way. Yeah. I think that's a good idea to like keep things fresh, especially yeah. with how many followers like we're getting, you know, yeah. instant followers. Totally. Uh, so I might keep that specific one in my bio and then just do like, like what you say, carry one once a month. Yeah. I like, I like how you said it. Keep it fresh. That's, I think I feel like that's how I feel it is. You know, it's not like your story is going to change. You just kind of keep it fresh. And I think too, what's helped me is to be very direct. I used to be very wordy and like, I used to beat around the bush with talking about coaching. And now I'm like, Oh, there's kids here. I was going to say a bad word. Now I'm like, screw it. Like I'm going to just say what I need to say. 
And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. So like keep your sneak peeks super, super simple. Like those 15 seconds are there for a reason. So like you should get your point across in like two 15 second blurbs, you know? Can I tell you guys all a quick story? Oops. This doesn't have to do with IG, but hopefully it'll save you or IG sneak peeks, but hopefully it'll save you guys some mistakes that I've made. So last Friday, we were talking about like invites and whatnot, right? And like last call, I am really bummed that we didn't record it because for me, but you know, everybody relates to different calls, but for me, it was a fire in my ass because I, for so many months had just been like super busy with Maddie and stuff. I wasn't doing like a ton of the vital behaviors, right? So finally this week, I sat down and I was like, I'm going to invite, because basically what I had been doing is like if somebody like to post or something, I would like, you know, send them like a connection message and, you know, we'd connect and we connect, but like my invites were super like beating around the bush, that type of stuff. Anyway, point is Kendra and Nicole, like you guys were all sharing like how you invite last week and just how you like you're messaging 10 people a day and then you'd like invite them by the end of the night and things like that. And I was like, I got to get like, I got to get my stuff together. Like I need to invite people like mass invites, like take massive action. Right. So I sat down and I like literally went through like my followers and like all the conversations I'd been having. And I was like, I'm going to invite every single person that I've talked to in the last like four or five months that maybe I never got around to an invite or like we've just been connecting or they've been like responding to my IG stories and I never got you know invite to them. Anyway, you guys, there had been people that literally I looked back through my conversations that had responded to like my IG stories over and over and over again. It had like been following me for like, like months, like six months that I had not invited. Right. And I had been like responding to their conversations, like trying to keep the flow going, like blah, 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 blah. Right. Like such a time suck. Finally, I sat down like this week and I just started like, I was like, I don't care. I feel like I try to be nice. Cause I'm like, well, what if they unfollow me? You know, but like who, who cares? Right? Like, why do I care about these people? I don't even know them. Like, I don't even know. Why would I care if they decide to unfollow me? Cause I invite them. I mean, why would I care? So anyway, I went in and I found the girl at invite that I sent to literally every single person. And it was like, Hey girl, I just had to ask. You're always so sweet to follow my posts. Thank you, by the way. Have you ever thought about coaching yourself or jumping into one of my challenge groups? I'm getting my March ones all set up and would love to have another mom friend like you in it. Let me know and I can send you some deets. Mass invites. Thing is, is I literally have so many conversations going and people who are like, oh my God, I've been like thinking about it for so long and I don't know, like literally a girl that's been following me for like two years just bought a challenge pack yesterday, like shit like that. You know, it's like, why have I not done this before? But then on the flip side too, I had a ton of people that were like, oh, actually girl, I'm already working with another coach. And it's like, not that I don't want to help everybody, but the fact that I have been sitting here conversation after conversation after conversation, keeping the flow going and here this whole time, like, I'm like, Oh, I don't want to invite them yet. And they're, they're working with other coach, like, like literally taking away time from my family that I have been messaging and being friendly and polite. Anyway, so sorry, that was kind of long winded, but the point is, is like, don't beat around the bush. Like just like get to the point, like Kendra said, <laughs> whether it's with your stories, but also with your invites too. Like don't let these conversations go and go and go. If people are interested, like invite them. And if you don't know they're interested, invite them. Like just invite them. Does that make sense? Totally. Sorry. It's totally off topic. But no, I thought it was great. Because I found this girl on social media. She has an all white husky that looks exactly like Frank. Her and her husband just got married. They went to Iceland for their honeymoon. What? <laughs> they moved to Colorado, like, 10 minutes from where Tom's from. Like, literally, we have so much in common. And she posted, like, an Instagram story, and I responded back, and I was like, we, like, we've had conversations going, you know, and I responded back, and I was like, it is insane how much we have in common. She was like, I know, it's really funny. I told my husband that, and we even have a nose ring on the same side of our nose. And I was like, ah, whatever. And then... I've literally, we've been like responding back and forth to one another's messages for probably four months now, like not even kidding. 
And I just have net like the same thing, Carrie. I just haven't invited her. And so I finally like literally told Tom one night, I was like, I'm gonna invite that girl to like coaching. I'm gonna lead with coaching, fall back on the products. The next morning, I woke up and she made a post about starting 80 day obsession. And I like messaged her and I was like, oh my gosh, we really do like I do beach body programs as well, blah blah. And she was like, Yeah, it's really funny. I've been following your journey for so long, and I finally just decided to bite the bullet. And one of my friends from high school reached out to me and I signed up last week. I was like, (laughs) cool. (laughs) Right? Like, I was like super excited for her. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is an amazing community, blah, blah. And she's like, yeah, I just want to say thank you because your consistency over the last few months made me realize that this isn't just a joke. Like it actually can be a real job and a real income. And I was like, (laughs) great. This is really, that's me. It's Shannon. Hey Shannon. Hey Shannon. I mean, that's just, that's just, that hurts. I can tell you a worse story, Jill, if you want to know it. <laughs> like, I'm still recovering. Gut, <laughs> gut wrenching. This just happened yesterday and I woke up and I almost like wanted to puke. So in our downline, in our downline, you guys, there was a coach who was coaching at one point and then she stopped. And anyway, she had a customer that kept reaching out to me, like when I was pregnant, cause she was pregnant too. She kept reaching out to me and was like, Hey, like, can I join your group? And so I reached out to this coach who's no longer working. And I was like, Hey, your customer, um, you know, like wants to join a group. Is that okay? And she was like, yeah, yeah, totally. That's fine. So I was in the group a couple times, but I never, because she just wasn't my customer, you know, I was just kind of like helping her. I like, never really reached out to her. Like didn't, you know, I didn't like treat her like one of my own challengers, which is rude. First of all, I just, you know, because I was so busy and stuff and I never really followed up with her and whatever. (laughs) Three months ago, she signed up as a coach under somebody totally like completely out of our team. And yesterday she became diamond. (laughs) That's like, Oh my God. I just lost a diamond just because I just like literally didn't follow up with her. And the coach who it was her customer, like literally wouldn't have cared at all. Like not even cared. I just, because of my own, like, I just wasn't like doing my due diligence and I wasn't following up and I wasn't inviting people. Like she was so into it and I wasn't, it was just like, boom, she signed up for somebody else and became a diamond. And I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, seriously. So the point is like, yeah. No time like the present. Seriously, like, yeah, and this has happened to me, like, actually more times than not in the last year. I've had people that, like, have showed up. Well, what I'm realizing, too, is, like, A, social media is so noisy, so even if you feel like you're repeating yourself, you're not. Like, and what I posted about Katie Ursta, like, what she posted in, like, the Dream Team Rising Stars, like, you know, and social media is so noisy that only, like, two years ago, I think it was, like, 17% of people like saw your stuff and now it's 3%. Like who cares? Go after it. Like, what do you have to lose? There's so many people out here that need this gift. Right. And then also too, because social media is so noisy, I feel like I feel, and this is a personal like bias, but like, I feel like Beachbody in the past has kind of had a rap of like being like multi-level marketing, like really intense, like invite, invite. Um, and so a lot of people, they kind of went through different coaches and now they're like, Oh, these programs are great, but my coach either left or she's not working the business anymore, or she's not my style. So like if you're yourself and you're just talking to people like genuinely about their health and fitness goals, like things come around. And I feel like, um, if you just speak to your own personal brand and you just like ignore the noise and be yourself. Like people are naturally going to come to you and they're going to love your story. And that is really like the selling point of like you versus someone else, like be yourself and you're going to attract the people that want to be on your team and talk about your team every single day on Instagram stories every day. We have like seven minutes left. You guys, what questions do you guys have? Are you guys comfortable running a sneak peek? Like, do you feel like you guys need some structure on what to talk about? Like, what are your guys' thoughts? This way we can get some, like... I'm super intimidated by Canva stories. Like, I know it's simple. I just haven't looked at it. And honestly, subconsciously, that's what I've been delaying. So I guess um, if there's any resource to learn it that you know about, is like a YouTube video, I would be very... I mean, for my... Personally, I thought it was 
so overwhelming. I did my story on Canva and it took me like six hours because yeah. just figuring it out. So don't use it like for your, oh. unless you really okay. want to take the time and you have the time to research it. Like right. just for my sneak peek, I just used Instagram stories and I had like, okay. I had like, I wrote on a piece of paper, like everything that I wanted to talk about. I pre recorded the things that I wanted to talk about this way. Yeah. It wasn't throughout the day. It was kind of like more structured. Right. I think that will take the pressure off. It's like, don't waste your time like with Canva if you aren't comfortable with it yet. You know? Yeah. I could yeah. quickly share my screen and show you what I did if you want. Okay. Do you want me to? That'd be great. Okay. Watching my daughter sleep. <laughs> Okay. Um, can you see this? Yes. Okay. Let me... okay. Um, okay. So here's what I did. You can see like my sneak peek is right here, all the little pieces to it. Yes. So what I did is you can use custom dimensions and you literally put in the custom dimensions, which I think are 1920 by 1080. Don't mm -hmm. me on that, but you can also go to, I don't know. Anyway, I'll tell you the custom dimensions later if you need them. But so then it creates like just a blank, it's just a blank one like this. You know that you can just like add. There's no icon or anything like that. Here, let me go back down. But um, so what I did I'm going to make a copy of this so that I can, okay. So all I did was, cause this is what it starts with basically like nothing. Right. So you're starting from like a white screen. Right. So I put the picture icon on it, click the picture and then I put a background color on it. These are the three colors that I use often, but like you could put any background color on it. And then all I did was add text to it. And then a picture. So every single like story, I just yeah. added, you know, so I just think about your story in a way like, you know, you could start with like a transformation or you could start with like, yeah, I was at 28 years old or, you know, here was me right. after I gave birth and you put a picture up, right? <laughs> so, and to add text is very easy. You just go to the text screen, you know. You're right. You're right. It's much, it's much easier than I thought. I think I was just hiding from it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's very like self-explanatory. You just move it up to mm -hmm. add a picture. You can upload all your own images. So then you can just, you know, that kind of annoys me actually, but you can move it with like your arrows, change the text, Oops. Um, different, you know, different fonts, different sizes, different colors, like, you know, that type of stuff. Then what I did to make it easy, so you can download each thing as a PNG, and that's what I did. But what I did is I named it. So I put like sneak peek one, you know, sneak one, right? And then I put done. So that's the title. Downloaded it, saved it. Then what I did is I went over here and I said file make a copy. Then I went and I changed the title. This was going to be now sneak two. And then I, you know, would change the picture, make the next story. The reason why I did that, make a copy, I made a copy of all like 17 slides or whatever is because now when I go back, they're all still here. Does that make sense? Do you see how it yeah, says so like, you can kind of use it as a template. Yeah, sneak peek one, sneak peek six, sneak peek two. Like these were all my slides. The reason why I did that is because now all I have to do is go in and if I want to change it, like just for next month, all I have to do is like I can change it just by changing the background color. Right. No, I like that. Maybe putting a different picture, but then it's so much easier every single month thereafter because I don't have to create, like recreate, 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 recreate. Right. Right. If no, you thank use, you. This is super helpful. Yeah, 
download the picture and then you change it and then you download it and then you change it and you download it and you change it without making a copy, you're going to have to recreate this every single month. But if you make a copy of every single slide, all you have to do to just change every month is just tweak it a little bit. Maybe use different font, maybe use a different background color, different picture, but that way it keeps it fresh for the people watching your stories, but you're not having to do a whole lot of work. Does that make sense? Super. Yeah. Something that I did too is I just, I just did everything in one and I just copied each individual, like I copied it, you know how you can copy it down below? Oh yeah, 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 smart. And so everything, and then I just downloaded the whole entire story and I just shared it from my Mac to my phone. That's so smart. Let me show you, let me show her what you're talking about because I didn't think of that. Yeah, this way everything's together. So if you just click that. You can add a new page right here. Yeah, but you can actually, Copy yeah, it. you can either do that or you can do that. And then you can download that whole entire story and then just share it to your phone. Okay, that's actually a lot smarter. Then you don't have to make copies. You can actually yeah, just and make then everything is just in your photo um, album on your phone, and you can just upload. Okay, Very got smart. It. So that would, that might be more organized, like if you're looking yes. at your downloads or whatever. Um, totally. Yeah. Yeah, that's I like awesome. that idea. Cool. If you guys have any tips, we have less than a minute. If you have any tips on IG stories. Instagram, we can maybe start like a thread or something on the team page, but are you guys into doing one next week? Anybody? Next Should we have a date? What day is everybody going to have it done by? I'm going to have it done them by the 28th is my day. Can everybody commit to having it done by the 28th? Yep. Yep. Cool. And then with a start date of coaching on April 2nd. Yeah. Sound good? Mm-hmm. Cool. Happy Friday, everybody. Good night. Weekend is here. Thanks.